220. Taking our picture or photograph. When yeah. I was there. Where, where were you to Queen Charlotte? When I was like 25. Years. No, but where? With the oh, Queen Charlotte? All over. Okay, yeah. Naomi yeah. lived in Queen Charlotte City, but we went to Massive. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay, I got it, I think. Okay. How's that feeling? Feels good. Yeah, you don't need to strap it. Oh, just let it go there, Dan. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Feels good. Okay. Yeah. Set up. Are we going fast? Yeah, we're doing like 13, 14 knots. How much better is it than the old motor? Like 12 times better. <laughs> it's pretty great. Are you happy to be back in Prince Rupert? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I am too. My favorite town on the whole trip. Yeah. But the motor's pretty sexy beast back there. Yeah. Well, we're cruising down the outside of the BC coast here. Uh, we did uh, the outside of Pitt Island. We went to Newcomb Harbor. It was nice. It was a big open harbor, a little windier than I like, but it was nice. Uh, not a whole lot there, but protected. And uh, then we left that. We sailed most of the way to Hodgsonco. It was good. It's downwind sailing. I don't have a whisker pole, so it makes it tough. I'll be really careful with my wind direction uh, so I can do wing on wing, but it turned out good and uh, got some good sailing in there actually. Doing some wing on wing, I'm trying to. I don't have a whisker pole, so I'm doing the best I can. We're doing all right. We're doing four knots, maybe three and a half, four knots. Variable winds. This is so cool. We're motor sailing uh, down Principe uh, Channel here. We've got dolphins coming up beside us. Just a couple by the looks of it. to Hodgson Cove and that that's a really cool spot uh, it's got all these like islets and islands just outside the anchorage that they're really tight group and they form these coves and little hidden inlets and stuff it was really fun digging and exploring I put down my prawn traps but didn't get much didn't get anything actually not much for fish either but really a scenic spot really nice well pretty well protected um, and then the next day we sailed again most of the way downwind wing on wing to uh mcmicking inlet where we spent the last two nights that that is a really cool spot it, the anchorage on the charts i wasn't sure about it but it, it turned out to be a really nice anchorage super scenic the big campania island mountain behind it it's beautiful and then we got some really nice weather which was awesome because they got these amazing sand beaches there so we went and spent a full day exploring the sand beaches and just sitting out there.
I went trolling out out off the beaches there and caught I think three or four big springs, three three spring salmon, between 20 and 30 pounds each. It was pretty cool. They were pretty wild, man. They were like jumping out of the water. One just about jumped right in the boat when I was trying to let him go there. Sandy caught her first big spring salmon again. I don't know, 20, 25 pounds. Our freezer is completely full though, so we just let him go. That's a nice big fish, eh? Yeah, he's so pretty. Is he bigger than yours? No. Look at him go. That's hard to tell. He's a good sized fish. That's a 15 pounder at least, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, probably closer to 20. Oh it's yeah. Pretty big. Oh yeah, that's a 15 or 20 for sure. There you go, your first salmon. My first okay, salmon. get him off the line now. I can't, that's huge. Yeah, Campania Island is a pretty cool spot. And then we woke up this morning and it's starting to rain, foggy and stuff, but it's been a good go so far, it's been fun. tracks on a beach in uh, Campania Island. We heard there are wolves here. We jumped off the dinghy and first thing we see are these wolf tracks everywhere. Pretty cool. Well I highly doubt that my little camera here is gonna pick this up. We're on uh, Campania Island at the sand beaches and there's killer whales like right in front of us there, right by that rock there, there's killer whales. Ha! Huh. Isn't that cool? Wolf tracks on the beach, killer whales in the water. What's wrong with your chest there, Sandy? I burned it. I'd say, why? Did, how did you burn it? Because I was enjoying the sun too much because I've been cold for like five months. Yeah. And I was just having a great day. And now look at me. Ah, yeah. I haven't done that for years. Yeah, it's going to be rough. <laughs> too bad. I've got this fancy cream for it though. Good luck with that. Mayan magic. One book I read described uh, the ocean tides as the earth breathing. When you sit here and watch it in these little eddies like this, it looks like it's even time to like how long it takes to breathe in and out. So we left Campania today. It's uh, kind of a cloudy storm the other day. Uh, this is where we're going up in uh, foggy, misty channels up here. We're going into uh, Chapel Hill, it's called. Go check it out. I had to run with my radar for the first uh, couple hours this morning. The fog was so thick, I only had about half a mile visibility on the radar. That's where we're going. Egg Point Bay, or Cove could be the most secure little hiding hole I've ever been in. We came in in like 15 knots of wind at three or four foot chop, wind against current, and uh, it was it was a mirror in there. Yeah, it's, it's a nice spot, man. It's really tight entrance. Uh, again, one of the tightest I've ever gone into. I think maybe 20 feet wide and rocks on both sides. You have to have a bow watch. Sandy pointed out a couple rocks that I couldn't have seen. And, uh, but it's worth going into. It's really cool. 